Hello Drone Racers, I'm Mark and today on Drone Racer 101 we're going to look at one way to use the DJI FPV air unit with something like this. This is a six cell battery. This is a monster battery. This is for a project that I'm working on that isn't quite ready yet, but in order to use this with this, there's several ways to get around the limitation. What limitation you ask? Well, the problem with the FPV air unit is it's only supported up to... Uh, uh, where is it? Uh, somewhere here. 17.6 uh, volts. There it is. This six cell battery, you can see there in the lower right hand corner, is 22.2 volts. So if you plug this into this, this is going to explode and nobody wants that. Except maybe people on the Fat Shark forum. Some flight controllers or ESCs will have a 9, 10, or 12 volt pad. You see a lot, depending on the model. It's usually intended for hooking up your camera or your VTX at a higher voltage because 5 volts can just cause problems when it's that low. If you have the, one of those pads though, you want to check your manual to see how many amps it can support. So here, for example, is a flight controller that supports 10 volts and it's 1.2 amps. The amp draw on this unit is actually fairly small. So if you support like 1.2, one and a half amps on a 10 volt circuit, that will work. But some models have nothing. Everything is voltage in, voltage out. What do you do in that scenario? You get one of these. This is a Diatone Mini V2 BEC. Now this comes in three different types. There's a 3.3 volt, a five volt, and a 12 volt. And you can see this is 12 volts and supports two amps, which is way more than enough for the FPV air unit. This is what it looks like on the top. It's, it's very small. And on the bottom, it clearly labels in and out. So what you do is you put in basically whatever voltage you need to. This will support a six cell battery in without a problem. And then it will output 12 volts on these out pads. So I've got one of the FPV air unit cables here and we've got the connectors here, we've got red and black. So these are the ones that you wanna use and it's just really straightforward. On this, you want to connect the red to the plus out and the black to the minus out. There you go, something like that. Just feed that through and put some solder to tack that on and make sure your cable's all the right length and you're ready to go. On the end, it depends on your flight controller. If your flight controller has pads that will just feed it line voltage, that would work because this draw is pretty small. Uh, voltage straight from your flight controller fed through somewhere would work just fine. Or you can solder some wires directly to the battery pads, depending on what's most convenient. And then I'm going to wrap this whole thing, once I do that, in heat shrink. And I'll probably double stick tape it on the model. More on that later as I get the model set up and uh, we'll, we'll cover that all in a future video. But I wanted to show you because there's been a lot of questions. Like, I only fly 6S now. How do I use this unit? This is how, because it's, it's not expensive at all. I've got a link down below where you can get it. Hobby King was actually the cheapest. I think I paid like $2 from Hobby King. If you're in a hurry, Amazon has it too. And there are several places I've got them linked down there. But like I said, the main thing to make sure of is you order the 12 volt version. There you go, quick and easy. If you found this video useful, leave a like and a comment down below. These units just dropped in price, so that'll be interesting. I've got 20% off coupons I'll post down below, at least for right now. Not for just this unit, for the whole setup. This is my third air unit and uh, it's hard to even look at models that don't support it now. I just ripped my uh, TS215 after updating Betaflight and it, it's just awesome. So until next time, remember, oh my God, this battery is 405 grams. Holy cow, that's gonna be fun.